channel. So today's video is going to be about cleaning makeup brushes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your makeup brushes in a very time efficient, fast way. So you can just like rapid fire, keep doing your makeup, keep doing clients makeup or whatever. You just want like clean brushes quickly. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you this product called Brush Bath by It Cosmetics. Brush Bath by It Cosmetics. Um, it is very cute and it's cute packaging and it's pink and that is always a plus. So I'm going to be using this product in the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I always say don't forget like as if you forgot or something. I'll just like ask politely. I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button down below. Also comment down below, leave me comments. Just like whatever, tell me like literally like your hairstyle today, I don't care. Just leave me a comment. Ah, awkward. So let's just get into this video. So the first thing I like to do is I like to have a white, I use like a white rag. This is like a white, should I say it's white one more time? This is like a white, this is like a white. It's a white rag. It's not white anymore because I have used it for to clean my brushes so many times and then I just wash it. The point is I use white because then I can see once there is no more product on the brush anymore. I'm gonna do like an example. I'm gonna show you. Let's pick a brush. Let's pick this brush, which I have used for blending and it is dirty now. If I tried to use it with like a blue color, it would just get all murky because there is currently like an orangey uh, brown color on here. So the way I use this product is to take a little cap off and I will spray the actual brush like so with the product, like two little sprays. And then if you can see, I will take it and look at all that color coming off. And suddenly the brush like instantly is getting cleaner already. This brush is like naturally has like a pink tip to it. So it's not that there's like eyeshadow on it. It's the natural color of the brush of how it came. And then I like to use a white rag or white cloth because then I can see when the product is coming off. This stuff has like a citrusy smell to it or something. What kind of smell is this? Lavender, that's what it is. It's, oh, and orange peel. And lemon. Okay, I was right. It's like a lavender citrusy smell. And then I'll spray it again further. And I spray it like twice. And then just go like this. And there is some, some, there is some, some, not some. There is some products deeper into the brush. So I sprayed it further back. And now, as you can see here, I have a clean brush again. The tip is naturally pink, like I said. I will be able to use this now to do my eyeshadow or client's eyeshadow, and it is clean, and it's great. So I'm gonna do another brush just to show you. This is one of my highlight brushes that I use to highlight my face, my cheeks. So I'm gonna spray it, like two sprays, and la la la, la la la. Look at all that stuff. I like to spray the brush itself because that way I don't waste um, as much product because it goes directly onto the brush and then I will rub it in. Whereas if I were to spray the cloth first, I think it would absorb too fast and I would just basically end up wasting that. So as you can see now, my brush is all white again at the top and there is nothing else coming off of it. It's funny to show you this because this is like so dirty already, but that is because it is my brush cleaning cloth. So now I have a clean brush and it is, as you can tell, nice and dry and I would be able to use it again on myself or somebody else. Let's do another one. This is my little Urban Decay brush. I use this today on my eyes and under my eyes. Look at that. Look at that and you saw how the brush looked before. Ah! It usually just takes like a couple squirts, like a couple sprays and rubs before my brush is good again. And now this brush 
there is nothing else coming off of it. And you can see it is clean again. So that is the beauty of this product. I would recommend that you use this product to spot clean your brushes. And what I mean by that is like, if you have brushes that you, like a foundation brush, for example, that you actively like use on your face a lot, and it's like full of foundation, or you haven't cleaned your brushes before, or if you haven't cleaned your brushes in a while, I would not use this product the first time. I would clean them fully, like deep clean them. I like to call it like deep clean your brushes where you actually do it in a sink with running water and soap and you can get like one of these little brush things that um, I don't have but I could like show you a picture of. So you can clean them properly to get all the stuff out. Uh, you could use this but you would just end up like wasting it basically. So I would do the first like cleaning if you have brushes that need like an overhaul in the cleaning department. I would just clean them in the sink and use a brush cleaner or soap, let them dry overnight. Once they're dry, once you have clean brushes, then I would just start implementing this so you can use it as you go. You, It's a super fast way to clean your brushes like after you do your makeup and so you don't have like dirty brushes and you can just keep your brushes refreshed and clean. It's also super useful if you are doing a number of people's makeup, like if you have I don't know if you're doing like a wedding or you have like just a bunch of different clients like one after the other and you don't have like a bajillion brushes or there's that like one brush that you love you can very easily in between just like doop, 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 and you're good to go again and you can keep going at a fast pace without having to wait so it's kind of awesome i like this product specifically like this brand because it has natural products in it i'm not going to say like this is an all natural product but there are natural products in here if you read the ingredients and it just cleans them well and it dries fast and it's good. You can get it from Ulta or you can get it online and I'm sure they sell it cosmetics also at Sephora's and I think it was like $17 for this bottle or something. It was under 20 bucks but it was like in that range like 17 or 18 dollars. I personally think it's totally worth it so I would spend my money on this and this can last you a while if you're not like trying to fully deep clean your most used foundation brush with this stuff, which would just be dumb, so. So that was my little how to clean your brushes very simply and easily. I hope this was useful for you. I would recommend this product. So if you wanna get it or you wanna try it out, yeah, like I would say yes, do it. It's not a waste of money and it will um, actually kind of save your life. Like I was like, oh my gosh, yes, yes, I love you. I love this stuff. All right, that is it for my video and I'm gonna get to cleaning the rest of my little brushes in here. Let me know if you like this video by giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, share it if you think this is useful for somebody else. And until next time, keep watching my channel guys. Thank channel whoa 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 I like what I do with my hair today I got bored of just having my hair down all the time so I was like I'm gonna do boxer braids now this is oh, say hello he is the cutest little dog ever and I don't know, maybe I should do a tutorial on, on how to do box of braids on yourself. That would be funny to watch because it's kind of tiring. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, okay, start over. Start fresh and clean. All right, I like this stuff because it dries instantly. Let me know if you like this video and if you found out, uh, if you found, yeah. Okay, anyways, step right away. Um, okay. like such a hot winter.